Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand a problem to find the ideal impulse response, the impulse response and frequency response. Also, the desired frequency response is given. We need to use the Hamming window. Let us start by writing the desired frequency response. The desired frequency response is given, which is HD of omega will be equal to exponential to the power of minus J3 omega for magnitude of omega less than 3 pi by 4 and HD of omega will be equal to 0 for magnitude of omega ranging between 3 pi by 4 and pi. So here the order of the filter is not given. So they have not given the value of m. So that's why what we need to do from the given desired frequency response we can find the value of m. So they have given hd of omega is equal to exponential to the power of minus j 3 omega so we can compare this with the standard equation which is exponential to the power of minus j omega tau so if we compare these two equations so we can say tau is equal to 3 okay so from this we obtain tau is equal to 3 now we know tau can be written as m minus 1 by 2 since tau is equal to 3 from this equation we can find the value of m which will be equal to 7 and also from the desired frequency response we can say omega c will be equal to 3 pi by 4 so all these calculations we need to do before solving the problem now let us write the unit sample response a unit sample response can be given as hd of n is equal to sine omega c into n minus tau divided by pi into n minus tau so this is for n not equal to tau and also we can write hd of n is equal to omega c by pi for n equal to tau so these are the standard formulas which you need to remember since omega c is equal to 3 pi by 4 let us substitute this value in these two equations so we will get hd of n is equal to sine 3 pi by 4 into n minus 3 whole divided by pi into n minus 3 so this is for n not equal to 3 and we will get hd of n that will be equal to 3 pi by 4 divided by pi that will be equal to 3 by 4 for n is equal to 3. Now let us write the unit sample response of a fire filter. So this unit sample response is for the ideal impulse response. So unit sample response can be given as h of n is equal to hd of n which is unit sample response multiplied with omega h of n so here omega h of n can be given as 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos 2 pi n divided by m minus 1 so here if we substitute m is equal to 7 we will get omega h of n will be equal to 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos 2 pi n divided by 6. Now using these formulas let us find the unit sample response h of n. Since m is equal to 7 here n can take 7 values from 0 up to 6. So it can take the value as 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 total 7 samples now for the different values of n let us find hd of n omega h of n and h of n so n can take the values as 0 1 2 3 4 5 
and 6. Now let us put different values for n to find hd of n. So here if we put n is equal to 0, we will get 0 0.075. For n is equal to 1, we will get minus 0 0.159. For n is equal to 2, we will get 0 0.225. For n is equal to 3, for this n will be equal to tau. That's why we need to use this formula where we will take hd of n is equal to 3 by 4. So hd of n will be equal to 0 0.75. For n is equal to 4, again we will use this formula and we will get the value as 0 0.225. And for n is equal to 5, we will get minus 0 0.159 and for n is equal to 6 we will get 0 0.075 now let us find wh of n using this formula for different values of n so if n is equal to 0 we will get 0 0.08 n is equal to 1 we will get 0 0.31 n is equal to 2 we will get 0 0.77 n is equal to 3 we will get 1 n is equal to 4 we will get 0 0.77 n is equal to 5 we will get 0 0.31 n is equal to 6 we will get 0 0.08 now if we multiply hd of n with omega h of n we will get h of n so we will get 0 0.006 minus 0 0.0493 0 0.1732 0 0.75 0 0.1732 minus 0 0.0493 and 0 0.006 so from this table we can find that h of 0 is same as h of 6 h of 1 is same as h of 5 and h of 2 is same as h of 4 and h of 3 will be center in this symmetry so we found that h of 0 is same as h of 6 h of 1 is same as h of 5 and h of 2 is same as h of 4 so h of 3 will be the center since the values are symmetrical we'll use h of 0 h of 1 h of 2 and h of 3 to calculate the frequency response h of omega now let us calculate the frequency response therefore the frequency response of the filter can be given as h of omega is equal to h of m minus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 into summation of n is equal to 0 to m minus 3 by 2 h of n cos omega m minus 1 by 2 minus n multiplied with exponential to the power of minus j m minus 1 by 2 into omega now here if we substitute the values of m we will get h of omega is equal to h of 7 minus 1 by 2 plus 2 into summation of n is equal to 0 to 7 minus 3 by 2 h of n cos omega 7 minus 1 divided by 2 minus n multiplied with exponential to the power of minus j 7 minus 1 by 2 so if we simplify the above equation we will get h of 3 plus 2 into summation of n is equal to 0 to 2 h of n cos omega 3 minus n multiplied with exponential to the power of minus j 3 omega now in this summation part if we put n is equal to 0 to 2 we can write the above equation as h of omega is equal to h of 3 plus 2 into h of 0 cos 3 omega plus h of 1 cos 2 omega plus h of 2 cos omega multiplied with exponential to the power of minus j 3 omega now if we substitute the values of h of 3 h of 0 h of 1 and h of 2 we will get 
h of omega is equal to 0 0.75 plus 0 0.012 cos 3 omega minus 0 0.0986 cos 2 omega plus 0 0.3464 cos omega multiplied with exponential to the power of minus j 3 omega so this is the desired frequency response of the given a fire filter this is about problem to solve a fire filter using hamming window hope you have understood the topic thank you